4.25 a.m. and I was going through my documents but I got stuck on old videos. This is from 2015 and I'm just watching us like when I was like 13 years old trying to do this with my classmates. <laughs> I am really getting distracted right now, but to be fair, can you blame my focus? It's 4.26 a.m. I'm getting very hungry, but shops only open in like three hours and I have no food at home. into a hoodie because my laundry is finished it is drying in such a weird way right now it looks like there's a ghost or something so i had the windows open so that it could dry but now i'm really cold so i'm in a hoodie and i'm warm in bed and i'm getting tempted to sleep but we're not gonna sleep if i fall asleep that's it i'm gonna wake up at 9 p.m five hours later dude <laughs> I was meant to sleep for an hour and a half and I slept for five in my makeup and everything. It's 2.23 p.m. That was a good sleep though. It's just funny for me that I'm still in my makeup. Like at this point, it's a new day. Do I take it off? Do I keep it on? I don't know. The eye bugs are really speaking for me, but it's fine. But let me quickly walk you through what I did because I didn't really explain, but I did a lot of things. Okay, first of all, we cleaned our room. Second of all, it took me a while, but I cleaned through my desktop, my downloads, and my documents folders. So everything is clean right now. I emptied the bin. I also replied to all my emails. I had 16, not that much, but some of them took a while to reply to. So I updated all my tech. So I updated my phone, my iPod, my computer. I washed my bed sheets, which I now have to put on my bed because they're still drying i changed all of my phone number details to my spanish number basically i have a lot of different accounts like instagram facebook but also paypal adsense and every single one of those platforms had a different phone number attached to it because in my one year of like digital nomadism i was always getting new numbers and that's kind of risky like i don't have those numbers anymore if i have to sign in sometimes i need the number confirmation so i went through all the websites i could think of and i double checked that the number Number in those sites is my current number because my current number I'm gonna have for years as long as I'm aware next thing is I created a list of steps and assigned month for all the kind of bureaucratic things I have to do in Spain because I like came back here and I don't know a hundred percent if I'm here long term but right now we're kind of plotting on that a little bit I don't know we're gonna see but I just wanted to write out all the things I have to do because there's a lot of document stuff I have to do here but I only have to do it in specific months next thing is i'm doing a social media mentorship right now and i did all of the prep work i had to do for this week because every week i have like a little bit of homework i guess kind of like how i can improve my content so i also wrote out for like 45 minutes straight i was writing out content ideas for an additional channel because i think i talked about this in one of my goals video and i know it sounds weird because it's like a guy you post consistently on this channel so why am i talking about making a new one but i did want to create a new one sometime in the future and i was writing out concrete video ideas that i would film which is the first time i did that so i feel like it, i just made it more real because i'm like look there's so many different things i want to post on here that i would never post on this channel so i'm like it makes sense to make a second one anyway to be fair i did most of the bigger things earlier i left two big things until later but that's because i literally couldn't because they have like a certain time they're open but i have to call the hmrc which is i don't know what it stands for but it's like in the uk the place that does the taxes and stuff i have to call them because i had an issue Oh my god, my voice, what is going on? This voice thing literally never happens to me. It just shows that one day of a lack of sleep and that's it. <laughs> Your body breaks down. Let's go get food and get my voice back. What the heck? I sound like I'm a smoker. Guys, I don't smoke. <clears throat> I just apparently don't sleep. I still haven't had food. Like, it's 3.30 p.m. And the last time I ate was 9 p.m. yesterday and I still... 
not had food but i'm at that point where i'm not hungry anymore which is not good so let's go get food i also like on top of all my admin stuff i really wanted for like two hours today to sit down and do some self-study like i wanted to study some portuguese and take some of the courses that i'm taking because for me that's like my happy time every day so i still want to make time for that in the evening because for me that's like something i look forward to whenever i do it so Okay, the goods are secured. I obviously got more food than this, but I haven't eaten in so long that I'm not gonna cook right now. I just got a sandwich. These sandwiches look so dry, but they're actually really, really good. Let's call the government. Let's hope they answer. Welcome to HM Revenue and Customs. Yesterday, the average wait on this line was 40 minutes. You can, to hear those options again, press the star key. I don't know which one I am. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Okay, they gave me another number. I'm gonna try to call them, but they didn't even put me in like a wait line or anything They just said like we can't take your call right now Which doesn't make sense because I'm calling within the times that they're open, but I'm guessing maybe like the line is too long oh. I forgot <laughs> I have a Spanish phone. I called them and they didn't pick up But they actually kind of answered my question through their automated thing <laughs> But it saved me a lot of stress because that was always on my mind I was like I need to call them I need to figure this out da -da 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 -da. But they like told me to go to a certain page to check something and I checked it and I'm like, okay I think I don't need to call. I think I'm fine. So success. I also just put in some more laundry I think for the next like 40 minutes I'm gonna do more little admin tasks Take the laundry out and then go on my two-hour walk to reply to everyone's messages because I think for me That's the thing that has been stressing me out the most because I have been so behind on everyone's messages And it's like, you know, sometimes it's understandable when people are behind on messages like we're all adults now now we have things to do whatever but i'm so behind that it's borderline rude it's with majority of my friends apart from like one or two but i am like almost two weeks behind on messages so i wrote down i have at least nine people i have to respond to and like with all of them i talk with like a lot of voice messages so i think honestly a two hour walk is not even enough to reply to everyone but i'll try my best hello I feel like this video is turning into like a little bit of everything but I wanted to do a little haul because <laughs> I have had a very certain type of clothes for the last couple of months because I was living in Bali and majority of my clothes was made out of linen. I was not wearing anything city vibe at all. It got to that point where I decluttered so much that I only had one suitcase worth of clothes. And I was so proud of that because I was like, out of everything in life, I own one suitcase. Like that's all I own in life. And then I came to Barcelona and none of my Bali clothes, like all this linen clothes didn't work here because I came in the middle of the winter to a city. Of course, I had to buy new clothes. I wasn't very happy about it because I want to have as little things as possible and I bought a coat. Let me show you. I bought this coat. You can't really see it well. I'm gonna put a picture of it here. This coat, I love it with my whole heart, but I kind of came at that time where the seasons were changing and it went from being really cold winter vibe to spring really quickly. So now whenever I'm out in this coat, I feel really warm. So I had to buy another coat because I, I didn't have any jackets. I didn't have anything. Literally all I have are tops and linen trousers. So yesterday I bought a new jacket. This looks like any other jacket that you would see on Pinterest right now, but I I love it. It makes me feel so like city girl because for the last couple of months I've been dressing very like tropical, everything linen, you know, little tops, linen white trousers and this is very very city vibe. Even though I don't think I'm a city city girl at heart, it makes me happy for a little bit. Anyway, I was supposed to go on my two hour replying to messages walk now but my phone is at only at 50% and for replying to messages for two hours straight I don't think that's enough so I think I'm gonna start my little study fun break a little bit earlier i was gonna do it later but i think i'm gonna start a little bit now maybe i'll study for like an hour or so and then i'm gonna do my walk i think i'm gonna do a couple of the courses i'm taking and then later in the evening i'm gonna do portuguese because i'm really focusing on portuguese right now i'm really tempted to pick up another language but i made a promise to myself this year that i was only gonna stick to one language but i can't but i'm very tempted but I can't. I'm gonna do some of my frame by frame course, which is a course that I'm taken by Nathaniel Drew. It is kind of on filmmaking, editing, animation, content creation, everything. It's an incredible course. He is one of my favorite ever, 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 ever YouTubers. And then I'm gonna move on to my next course.
Okay, so I did one 30 minute lesson. Ideally, I would do a little bit more, but I feel like today my time is limited if I wanna go to sleep at a normal time. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes of a different course. I am going to do 30 minutes of copywriting essentials, which is a learning path that I'm taking on Skillshare right now because I have always been really bad at writing like headlines or titles for my videos or captions, SEO, all of that. I've always been quite bad at it. So we're taking that into our own hands. I'm taking action to get better at something I know that I'm bad at. So I am taking a copywriting class I'm learning a lot of different methods on how to like write better titles and all of that in this Skillshare class So if you've never heard about Skillshare before I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them because they're actually the sponsor of today's video Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives They have thousands of classes on so many different topics led by industry pros For example, you can take classes in film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, painting, crafting, music, and so much more And Skillshare has this thing called Learning Paths, which is basically a collection of different courses to take where one course builds on the other so for example if you're overwhelmed and you don't know which course to start with but you know what hobby you want to pick up you can pick up a learning path and they're gonna kind of guide you like start with this course and move on to this one and move on to this one which is insanely useful because I feel like when we're starting something new we always feel a little bit lost so for example with this copywriting thing I wouldn't even know what to start with do I start with headlines do I start with SEO whereas in my learning path it goes step by step so if you want to invest into your goals and your skills this year maybe level up your career maybe start a side hustle skillshare is the perfect place to start first 500 people to join skillshare with the link in my description are going to get one month completely free of skillshare and you can literally get started today make sure to go join skillshare let me know what courses you end up taking i have so many courses i want to do i feel like every month i'm doing a new skillshare course and it's just so fun i'm constantly leveling up my skills so if you want to join me on this little learning lifelong learning adventure then join down below i'm currently taking the third course out of the learning path so i'm starting tone of voice this course specifically is 55 minutes i don't think i'm gonna have 55 minutes i think i'll watch 30 minutes and then i'll finish off tomorrow but then i'm almost halfway through this learning path so let's do that So I studied Portuguese for like 30 minutes and now I'm really tired like towards the last 10 minutes I was just like ready to sleep honestly it worked out in my favor because i was like pulling an all-nighter is never smart ever 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 it doesn't fix your sleep schedule but for some reason i think it's gonna work for me this time but i think this is the first time it's ever worked because i've tried it before and it never worked i always thought it would fix it and it always messed it up even more that's because usually i wouldn't be tired at like 10 p.m but right now i am tired i think it's perfect because i think i can fall asleep and yeah this almond day type thing was very 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 needed like very needed i'm glad i did it because i genuinely feel like a weight off my shoulder because these little tasks like they've been pushing me like they've been stressing me for a couple of weeks some of the months and it's nice to just be like i don't have to do them anymore they're done i don't have to deal with them anymore i'm gonna finally take this makeup off because it's actually crazy how long i've had it on and go to sleep thank you for watching my chaotic diaries i will see you next time